फोर पॉइंट सिक्स पापा पैनव स्पेशल क्रिसमस इट वॉज क्रिसमस ईव एंड ऑल दो इट वॉज स्टिल आफ्टरनून लाइट्स हैड बिगिन टू अपियोर इन द शॉप्स एंड हाउसेज ऑफ द लिटल रशियन विलेज फॉर द शॉर्ट विंटर डे वॉज नियरली ओवर एक्साइटेड चिल्ड्रन करीड इन डोज एंड नाउ ओनली मफल साउंड ऑफ चैटर एंड लाफ्टर एस्केप फ्राम क्लोज शटर्स ओल्ड पापा पैनल द विलेज शू मेकर स्टेप्ड आउटसाइड हिज शॉप टू टेक वन लास्ट लुक अराउंड the sounds of happiness the bright lights and the faint but delicious smells of christmas cooking reminded him of past christmas times when his wife had still been alive and his own children little now they had gone his usually cheerful face with the little laughter wrinkles behind the round steel spectacles looked sad now but he went back indoors with a firm step put up the shutters and set a pot of coffee to heat on the charcoal stove then with a sign he settled in his big armchair papa panov did not often read but tonight he pulled down the big old family bible and slowly tracing the lines with one forefinger. finger he read again the christmas story he read how mary and joseph tired by their journey to bethlehem found no room for them at the inn so that mary's little baby was born in the cow shed oh dear oh dear exclaimed papa panel if only they had come here i would have given them my bed and i could have covered the baby with my patchwork quilt to keep him warm he read on about the wise men who had come to see the baby jesus bringing him splendid gifts papa pano's face fell i have no gift that i could give him he thought sadly then his face brightened he put down the bible got up and stretched his long arms to the shelf high up in his little room He took down a small dusty box and opened it. Inside was a perfect pair of tiny leather shoes. Papa Pano smiled with satisfaction. Yes. They were as good as he had remembered. The best shoes he had ever made. I should give him those, he decided. as he gently put them away and sat down again he was feeling tired now and the further he read the sleepier he became the print began to dance before his eyes so that he closed them just for a minute in no time at all papa pan was fast asleep and as he slept he dreamed he dreamed that someone was in his room and he knew at once as one does in dreams who the person was it was jesus you have been wishing that you could see me papa panov he said kindly then look for me tomorrow it will be christmas day and i will visit you but look carefully for i shall not tell you who i am when at last papa panov awoke the bells were ringing out and a thin light was filtering through the shutters bless my soul said papa panov it's christmas day
he stood up and stretched himself for he was rather stiff then his face filled with happiness as he remembered his dream this would be a very special christmas after all for jesus was coming to vis- visit him how would he look would he be a little baby as at that first christmas would he be a grown man a carpenter or the great however he came Papa Panov put on a special pot of coffee for his Christmas breakfast, took down the shutters and looked out of the window. The street was yet deserted. No one was stirring yet. No one except the road sweeper. He looked as miserable and dirty as ever, and well he might. Whoever wanted to work on Christmas day and in the raw cold and bitter freezing mist of such a morning